Hey guys, it's Kelly, and I wanted to show you my top 10 favorite makeup items from 2013. I've seen this tag going around um, YouTube for quite a couple of weeks now, um, just about, and I didn't even know about it last year, which is kind of weird because a lot of people did this. So maybe I was just out of the loop, but I wanted to do it. So I picked 10 of my top 10 favorite makeup items, one from each category except for lipstick, because for lipstick, I picked a matte one and a non-matte one, and I just couldn't pick between a pink and a red, and I just gave in and was like, I have 11 items, because I got two lipsticks that I just couldn't decide between. But first of all, first and foremost, for my face, I wanted to talk to you about my number one favorite foundation of the year, which I tried a new Laura Mercier one. I tried a new Makeup Forever one. I loved them. I tried a Tarte one. I loved it. But the Immaculate Pearl by um, Hourglass was my number one foundation. I'm currently wearing it, and I have nothing over the top of it. I can wear this foundation. I don't have to have the translucent powder with it or anything. Just this sweet little baby all by itself. And this, it has like a smell that doesn't smell awful and it goes from li liquid into powder. And I have very oily skin and this is magic in a bottle for my skin. So this was my number one foundation of the year. And then for, I'm gonna put everything up here. <laughs> for concealer, my number one foundation is by Laura Mercier, um, and it's in the color number two, and this is just the secret concealer. It comes in a pot. I've already hit pan quite a while ago. It's there, but um, this stuff is phenomenal. Um, it's sweat proof, and it really, really stays. It doesn't move around. Um, I really love it, and I also seal my lipstick with this, so if you see how to set red lipstick, um, and apply red lipstick videos. These are always, this always goes with it hand in hand with my red lipsticks. Fabulous product and it's only $22. So it's a really great deal for, you just get a ton of product. Like I've had this for a while and I still haven't used it up. So it's a great deal. Also for app applying makeup, my number one product of the year was a beauty blender, which is dried up and gross right now. But the Beauty Blender is phenomenal for anything from BB creams to primers to tinted moisturizers to foundations. And I've even used it to apply sunblock and it is wonderful. And I just couldn't say any more good things about it. Um, you just dampen it and apply your product and apply it to your face in a dabbing motion and it is phenomenal. And it is a lot better than a brush for applying your foundation because it is streak free and gives an airbrush finish. Um, the next item I want to talk about is my um, eyeshadow. My favorite, all-time favorite eyeshadow of the year was by NARS. This is the duo in Alhambra. I actually showed this in a recent video that I did um, of a makeup look. And it's got a rose gold, shimmery rose gold color right here. And then this is a gorgeous goldeny, very shimmery goldeny color. And they're absolutely buttery and velvety and they are gorgeous gorgeous. This was seriously just one of the best investments I could have put in my makeup collection. I am in love with these colors more than you can imagine. Um, and I love them for this one for a highbrow, highbrow highlight and for inner corner highlight as well as an eyeshadow and for the tip of your lips as well to make it a little plumper. So fabulous, fabulous find this year was Alhambra. If you could get any one thing in my collection, I would recommend this above any others. Um, for uh, another NARS product, I love NARS by the way, it's my number one favorite product. Um, for my eye base, my number one is the Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. It's by NARS, yet again. And I just, oh my gosh, a tiny bit of this really does go a long way and it makes your eyeshadow not crease and just last all day. And it's phenomenal for a smoky eye. So I have definitely loved that. And then my favorite blush is by Tarte, and this is in the color Frisky. Um, I've talked about this color a lot. It is a gorgeous corally pink shade, which is my all-time favorite kind of blush to wear, is the corally pinky side. So um, love it. Um, really, really does last all day. When I put it on at nighttime, I don't have to touch up my blush or anything when I go out the door. This is one of those must-haves in my collection for oily skin. Um... For my favorite um, 
kind of under eye concealer. I wanted to add this one in. This is by YSL. It's in the color light and it comes in like a little stick like this and I normally click it onto my hand and then put a brush on it and apply it so that I can share this with my friends. I just apply it to my hand first and it is an amazing product. It really does reflect light beautifully, um, brings light around the face and it's wonderful and I've even used it under my um, eyebrows when, they, when I have a really good dark smoky eye going on. It's a great highlight for the brow bone as well. Um, really expensive product, but really, really worth it. So it's exciting. Um, for mascara, I have to go with Benefit They're Real. I had a lot of mascaras to choose from. It was a close switch between this and Tarte Lights Camera Action. But this one just won. I'm wearing it right now. I really love it. Um, I've never really had a problem with this mascara. I love the brush. I think I love it just because of the brush. And, um, you know, you guys know how well uh, I smell all my products. And this is one of those non-stinky mascaras. I don't like stinky mascaras. And this one just really does it for me. It really does keep its curl and length and everything. I love it. Um, gives me um, nice, natural, big lashes. And then for my eyebrows, what I wear 24-7 every single day is the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit. And it is $3 at Target. And it looks like this. It has a little mirror compact. And then, um, so it's great on the go. I like to keep it in my purse. And it has a powder finishing powder, which I don't love as much. But I use the gel um, finish right here for my eyebrows. It's what I use every single day for my eyebrows. And I cannot live without this. Um, and then for my contour, my number one is yet again by NARS. This is the Laguna by NARS. And it is my number one. I've hit pan on it. This is my second one. And it is phenomenal for contour and for bronzer. And every now and then I'll even use it um, as a matte finish for a brown smoky eye. It is gorgeous. And it has just a slight taste of shimmer to it, but not enough where it's more matte. It's right in between. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. And I love it. And... We're almost done. My favorite lipsticks were both by MAC. I love MAC lipsticks. They are my number one favorite brand. And I love this red one. First of all, this is Ruby Woo. It is a matte. Um, I love Russian red too, but this is my favorite. It's a matte finish Ruby Woo. It was my favorite red one. And then this one is a pink one, and it's called Girl About Town. I love this color. It's a very glossy pink. And it looks very um, just natural. I'm going to put some on. And I like to finish it off with um, just a little bit of clear polish or whatever. Um, gloss. But I freaking love, love this lipstick. Um, I've only had it for about a couple of months. And this has been my number one go-to lipstick. And... I love it. It's so creamy and buttery and glossy and it doesn't look too bright on me. It just looks very like I'm up, I'm awake, I'm happy in the morning. This is one of those kind of lipsticks. So yeah. And then my number one palette of the year was my Naked 2 palette. I could not live without this palette. I have put so much love into this palette and my two favorite colors are definitely Snake Bite, which is this brown shimmery one right here and YDK right here and I just love this palette I think it's been the most versatile for me for natural for smoky for shimmery looks for very feminine looks for um, just like an everyday look this has been my go-to palette and I've just used all the colors and they're great for anything from really light and delicate or natural to really smoky and I love the purples and the browns in it for my brown eyes. So this has been my number one go-to palette of the year, and I loved it. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, tell me below what your favorite um, products, makeup products for 2013 were. And I'm going to do another one of these, including some hair and toiletries and... Um, like bathroom stuff and perfumes and stuff like that. I'm going to do a second video just to kind of, so it's not one massive video. I'm going to compile it into like two other videos 
for 2013 favorites. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you're having a wonderful 2014 and I'll see you guys later. All right, bye.